Hey my loves, welcome and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, I am Devi, nice to meet you. I hope all of you are having an amazing day today and whoever needs hugs, I'm sending love and hugs to all of you, okay? I'm grateful to all the new beautiful my subscribers, thank you very much, welcome and... Welcome to our beautiful family. Also, I'm grateful forever to my beautiful loyal babies. Your loyalty is very much appreciated, okay? So, thank you for everything. Thank you for still being here for me, okay? So, today's reading is gonna be about who's your soulmate, alright? As always, it's a general reading. It may not resonate with every single person. I have pre-shuffled the options, okay? So please pick your option, one, two, three, whichever uh, attracts you energetically the most, okay? And let's get started. Hey, group one, welcome to your reading. So let's see. The first uh, card jumping to your energy was the orphan. So this person could have had... Uh, could be somebody who has wounded inner child issue, you know, maybe this person, you know, literally grew up without parents or this person had, you know, felt like an outcast, like a black sheep, you know, this person had abandonment issues as it's a past life, you know, deck, okay. Let's see, who is the soulmate of my group number one universe? Finances. This person is very hard working person. All right, who is your soulmate, my group number one? Who is your soulmate? Ooh, we have here, wows. Okay, authority figure, Atlantis. Ooh, and galactic, wow. And in the bottom, we have here, health. Okay, um, I feel like it's a starseed connection. Like, it's not the first time that you um, you may meet this person. Or the first group of my collective it knows already this person. The second group, you know, is just in your energy that it, this person is a starseed just like you. You had past life in Atlantis, okay? I feel like it's a hardworking person. I feel like for some of you, regardless of the orphan energy, with the authority energy and the finance energy, this person is a hardworking person. And just uh, right now, is focused on their own, you know, goals, lives, finances, and career. Um, for the other group, I feel like also this person could have always had the problem with the sense of belonging. I don't know why I picked this energy, okay? Maybe a 9 to 5 job, uh, you know, never served this person because this person is, you know, a more of a bigger person. That's why they could have always felt like they did not belong wherever they were raised in, even though they could have had their own parents, you know, like, but they still felt this, you know, loneliness, lonely wounded child within, okay? Also, you know, like, maybe they always had been like a rebellious energy, you know, against the authority figures, you know, because this person is a natural born leader, okay? And whatever the earthly laws, let's say, the earthly laws, earthly, um, let's say, structure of the things, all right, did not serve this person. Like, something was wrong because this person comes from the higher dimension, okay? And this person has, you know probably could have been considered as an earth angel or something because this person has come to this planet for a special purpose, okay? They could have even with the health combination could have been a healer as well, okay? I feel like with the love life energy, yeah, I feel like city life does not serve this person, okay? This person should live in the, you know, like more of a nature, by the sea or something, like whatever calls, calls them in nature, more close to, you know, the earth, the Gaia, you know, like the more of a nature, more of a stones, crystals, you know, all this stuff, okay? With the love life energy, even though like it could be the love interest and all the stuff, I feel like this person had been struggling with finding true love because they never, uh, you know, uh, clicked with the people. Like I feel like it's the kind of a person who is having hard times with finding love and finding the place of belonging. Okay, because this person's soul 
this person needed to ground themselves to this planet, okay? I, and there was always this subconscious yearning. Also, for some of you, I pick up also, like, lots of traveling. This person could have relocated a lot, also travels a lot, because they feel like they don't belong in this certain place, right? They think that if I move into another place, maybe another country, state, city, whatever, I'm, I'm gonna be fine. But they find out that people are the same, like, something is not clicking, they cannot find their tribe okay like they cannot find their belonging and I feel like your energy will be your mission in this person's life maybe it's gonna be a mutual thing that healing this person's wounded inner child okay this person could be highly empathetic and a healing person themselves okay ships yeah for some of it this person lives in the distance and for the other group I feel like it's mostly about you know like um traveling this person could be traveling a lot and with a trust and faith energy i feel like this person could be like really connected to the source the creator uh, they may be open about it or not like regarding of their personalities but they are being very uh, you know like divinely guided and divinely protected by their angels you know by their guides by their you know like tribe soul tribe but this person is not a human you know they are uh let's say um galactic being let's say okay a galactic being coming to this earth for something for a journey for a soul journey okay but they do not belong in here like it's not their home let's see who is the soulmate of my group number one universe who is your soulmate I am picking up the other galaxy's name and I'm not gonna say it because it sounds too cliche. Okay, Seven of Cups. This person could be having really nice imagination, okay? This person could be an astral traveler as well. This person could be having vivid dreams, you know, or lucid dreams as well, okay? Like, also, I feel like their subconsciousness always try to say something, like, I, I, I'm feeling drawn to the unknown, the, you know, this person could be even seeing the spirits for some of you. Let's see. Ace of Wands, very creative person, okay? This person has really nice, bright imagination, I, what I'm feeling like. Also, I also pick up, like, if uh, for some of you, this person has gone through a certain childhood trauma, part of themselves has, you know, let's say, has felt stuck in this age, childhood age that needs this healing, okay? Part of them is still a child, okay? Seven of Swords. Who is your soulmate, my group number one? Who is your soulmate? So, the lovers, yeah, something heavenly and divine and something on a soul level, okay, with the judgment energy, it's, you know, angel, angel, div like, if you met this person, it was divinely guided, I don't know if, if your lesson was harsh or light with this person, life is never easy for anybody, yes, like, this person is very highly intuitive, okay, I feel like with the high priestess combination, it's somebody who, um, could be a master manifester, but I pick up like astral traveling, you know, like this person sees beyond the veil, you know, because they do not, they are not from this energy and also with the angel energy, again, some people could be describing this person as an earth angel, okay? But I feel like the love connection with this person would be so divine and very healing, uplifting, okay? Let's see. For some of you, this person could be going through financial challenges as well, you know, like as I mentioned before, because they have never felt a sense of belonging and they never stood for the injustice, the unfairness going on in this office um let's say situationships you know like uh, the circumstances work circumstances okay three of wands yes 
uh, for the vast majority of you this person could be living in the distance and this person wants to travel a lot maybe this person's life mission could be in north node in sag okay this person needs to travel a lot okay this person's life purpose could be part partly about traveling okay let's see I don't know why I picked up like this person has good taste in you know picking matching colors like very creative this person could be very artistically inclined Th this person is very stylish and has this nice sense of style okay but this person has been through this person has been through a lot in this lifetime my group number one this person has been betrayed again like it usually happens to the you know like um, empathetic people because they usually attract those mentally challenged people I'm not gonna you know dive deeper all the stuff you know they were taken the you know the advantage of in the past and their trust was taken for granted okay that's why they could be feeling very guarded and defensive they also I pick up very introverted energy this person this person do not easily open up to everybody, okay? Like, it takes time for this person to trust the people because they do have wounded inner child. And life has never been easy, okay? Tower moment and Ace of Pentacles, okay? So, yes, this person could be going through, you know, like... For some of you, this person could be going through Saturn return for some of you like going through dark night of the soul and coming you know as the brand new versions of themselves they could be closing up the old uh, you know soul lesson and releasing this energy and starting to this life uh, a new journey from the fresh new start okay in the bottom we have here the moon yeah this person could be going you know doing some subconscious healing okay this person could be you know like highly intuitive as well like we already know this person may have cancer or pisces in their charts or so also scorpio sad gemini and all this stuff okay and capricorn for slightly some of you okay but yes, this person, also, you might be, yes, yes, this person, uh, this person's uh, third eye chakra is popping, this person is highly intuitive, okay, this person is highly intuitive. For some of you with the Ten of Pentacles energy, regardless, even though this person currently could be going through challenges financially, but this person is meant to be wealthy in this lifetime. This person is going to become the greater version of themselves in the future, you know, like they, they could be Ill, even building up their own business, you know, like something not traditional. And they they are gonna make money in their own unique ways for the star seeds they are, you know, like once they embrace their uh, true potential, it feels like they are gonna come into money and they're gonna be wealthy, okay? Like they will be abundant. And whatever challenges, uh, whatever harsh challenges they had been going through in the office uh, lifestyle, let's say, it actually was a blessing for like some people are meant to leave this nine to five job and have this certain amount of the salary right like sometimes bonuses could be included but not so much okay but some people are like are meant to attract limitless money from all across the world like money comes from everywhere you know like not from the one particular source right and let's say this person uh, could not uh, settle uh, and grow their roots in the office place because they were meant to be uh, the, you know, the leader, the owner, or, you know, like, being the boss, the, uh, you know, for, for the, like, this person was not meant to be, um, to obey the rules. This person creates the rules. That's what makes sense, okay? So, who is your soulmate, my group number one? I feel like this person is gonna be, uh, is gonna, you know, like, ground so much abundance in the future, like, they have no idea, okay? It's safe for you to love. Again, for some of you, um, maybe your mission in this person's life and this person's mission in your life could be uh, creating this safe environment for each other to love, to feel safe at 
home again sense of belonging okay you deserve love again i feel like this person had always been taken for granted you know whatever good things they did to others it was uh, you know so unappreciated so unseen you know people could have you know even though they could have helped other people people always treated like it was all themselves by their own efforts this per the, those people around them your soulmate always discredited uh, discredited their efforts okay like petty people actually i feel like people subconsciously could have always felt intimidated by this person okay because they their uh, personal strength and aura it's it's always like this person was born with high vibration you know it's very high vibrational person okay engagement for some of you you might be ending up in long-term commitment also with the ten of pentacles uh, something stable okay retreat I feel like if you are an introvert, this person is an introvert too. And you will have, because this person is so highly sensitive, so energy sensitive. Again, this person needs to live in the nature of, okay? Like this person always needs to connect with the trees, hug trees, go to the ocean, listen to the sound of the waves, you know, like always feel connected to animals. Like this person is highly sensitive and very soulfully connected to the Gaia okay love yourself first again this person has learned how to set healthy boundaries and love themselves in order not to let anybody you know walk all over them you know yes I hope the reading resonated with you I hope you enjoyed your reading see you next time take care hey group two welcome to your reading how are you doing okay so let's see uh, who is your soulmate, spiritual and religion, angels and karmic relationships? So there is this uh, soul lesson. Like this person has important law. Uh, this person has important role in your soul's journey in order to evolve you as a person. You know, like this person, like uh, karma is never one-sided. Like. And with the spirituality and religious uh, religion and the angels, like I don't know on the surface how this connection may look like, but this uh, you know this connection is very divinely guided by the angels, you know. For some of you, maybe your or this person's role in your life on the vice versa could have been you know encouraging the other person. Uh, you know to have more faith in the divine okay or just both of you could be really you know i feel like there is a sense of different religious background you know somebody is uh, was raised in strict religion and the other person was more of a free spirit and this person's role was to open the another person to spirituality even more to uh, you know not fear the creator but instead love the creator okay you know like i'm not gonna go deeper about religion it's not my business to tell people what to believe in okay it's anyways anyways so who's your soulmate high priest or pri priestess exactly this person is very intuitive, okay? This person could be very connected with the angelic realms, okay? Persecution and inquisition, okay? Forgiveness. And knighthood, yes. This person is a warrior, regardless if it's a masculine or a feminine. This person is a badass, okay? Like, this person, I feel like, like is cons uh, you know is considered as a spiritual warrior okay i feel like in the past life this person could have been you know like uh persecuted as a witch or a wizard you know it's one of those people okay very strong personality i feel like and it's a very strong uh, you know um, a, a old soul, yes, and very strong, like it could be the messenger of the angels, messenger of the creator, but people took this person's uh, gifts for granted, you know, people were scared instead of embracing the love energy, okay? Maybe again, this person's soul mission is all about spreading love and spreading divine message, and people who were raised in strict religious uh, cultures did not take it uh, seriously and did not take it with love, you know? They felt uh, like this person was threatening their religion, going against the will of God and all the stuff, you know, like... 
Yes, and this person was... Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, it's just a journey. I hope it didn't hurt too much, <laughs> okay? I'm such an asshole for laughing at Because I was killed this way in this past life, you know, like, no problem. I'm still, a I never die, I, I always just change flashes. It's just a journey, okay? <laughs> yeah, maybe this person also... I feel like for some of you, like, forgiveness could be, you know, like, uh, both sided. <laughs> Okay, somebody needs to forgive the another person from the past. I feel like it's like the kind of a relationship that one does the dirty to one person, right? And in the next life, this person does the same to this one. And, you know, there is this sense of soul resentment in both mirrored ways. But it was just a lesson to learn how to forgive, you know? Yeah, ships again. Yeah. Let's see, who's your soulmate, my group number two? Who is your soulmate? This person could be ha having heavy, uh, you know, fire sign in their chart. For some of you, this person could be into witchcraft, you know, candle magic, manifestation and all this stuff, okay? Um, let's see. Knight of Wands came again. Again. Could be a foreigner. Very passionate person, okay? Also, I feel very free-spirited. This person is unapologetically themselves and very straightforward. Sometimes their words could hurt, okay? Maybe that's why their words could hurt. That's why people did not take it, you know, in his way. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Um, Taurus or the Capricorn. But it's a stable person, okay? Or, okay, I, I'm gonna tell it. It's two of swords. <sighs> Who is your soulmate, my group number two? The star seed, the star, Aquarius. Again, very free spirited energy. Five of cups, death, somebody from your past life for sure. And it's not only the one past life. Like, you did the, the same uh, thing to each other again and again and again and again, you know? Like, six of pentacles. It's very helping, very generous person, okay, Leo? Yeah. This... <laughs> yeah. Seven, I feel like right now your person is focused on their career, okay? They want to secure the bag. They are very focused on their, you know, whatever they are doing with their lives to, in order to secure the bag, to, you know, like, I also hear investments, so for some of you, this person could be investing money, okay, and again, very strong person with the knighthood and the strength energy, okay, living or travel, so this person could be traveling or living in the distance, we have here ace of cups and the hermit, also the karmic energy, like, the, for some of it, this could be love at the first sight, like, there could be an instant love, the hermit introvert, okay, king of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, very generous person, okay? They they uh, they are very generous with their money. Like, they could be somebody who always donates for people who are in need, who are in trouble, donating for charity works. Like, it's that, that kind of a person, okay? I also feel like this person may come across as the know-it-all. That's why their words could be getting them, them in trouble. I feel like this person may have, unfortunately, so many haters for no reason just because this person speaks their truth. You know, some people may see this person as a weirdo, like, what are you talking about? I don't understand you, you know, like, um, or you are crazy, like, you are woo-woo, you know? <laughs> okay, so we have here eight. I feel like this person has such a uh, dark sense of humor that people don't like it. It's, also the scorpion energy, like this person could be stingy with their words, but super intelligent though, super intelligent. And very stable actually. Okay, like this person I feel like has this badass side, okay, like warrior. Also, um, also this stable side, okay, like... How can I explain? It's like my energy. You know, like, I'm usually an introvert, but when I want to, you know, when uh, somebody comes at me, I don't mind fighting, you know, like, it's a very similar energy, okay? But this person is very stable and grounded right now, it feels like, okay? 
eight of wands for some of you this person could be making you know making their living with living by speaking you know with their voice this person could be in the public eye preaching mentoring <laughs> maybe again this person could be sharing the knowledge about the divine you know like cosmic consciousness being the messenger maybe sharing their vision to people you know like what happened to me my experience with the aliens and all the stuff right and uh, some people could be telling that like what the you know if you know like are you talking about you are crazy like you are out of your mind people could be treating this person this way you know eight of wands so, who is your soulmate, my group number two? Seven of Wands. I feel like also this person does not mind cutting people off from their lives, okay? Um, Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, this person could have avoided so much um, maybe marriage proposals or something. Um, this person wanted to... Uh, mm, you know, like there is this chronicle loneliness, chronicle singlehood energy from this person I pick up, okay? Like one person is stable, one person is free spirited. Like there could be like earth and fire energy, okay? Like and balance could be needed to restore, okay? Like, um,. For some of you, you may be, uh, you may marry this person, okay? You may marry this person if this person let their guards down. Alright, let's see. <laughs> Who's your soulmate, my group number two? Who's uh, your soulmate? But this person, for some of you also, what I feel like, this person could be coming from old money. This person may be having good family inheritance, okay? Queen of Swords, again, very quick to respond, okay? And again, this person doesn't have the bone in their tongue, if it makes sense, you know? Like, this person is very cutting with their words, you know? Like, and some people do not take it, you know, like, on easy way, like, very straightforward, like, there is this heavy Sag energy, like Scorpios, some Capricorns, you know, like, um, maybe any of the fire signs, actually, okay, like, people hate this person because this person does not fit in the box, you know, they always thinks outside of the box, you know, like, they do not limit their minds. For some of you, this person may be having going on too much in their minds, they could be even uh, sometimes struggling with their words, like, so much words could be wanting to come at the same time, if it makes sense, okay, like, this person could be making weird sentences sometimes, but it's so intelligent person, okay, and... You know, and they're very straightforward, and that's why this person's words uh, get them in trouble sometimes. Because, and people are very intimidated by this person, okay? King of Wands, very fiery energy. Again, fire, air, and, you know, fire, earthy also. Uh, Aries Leo Sag. Also, this person may be having Venus or Jupiter in the fire element. This person always comes across as somebody who is who is, could be territorial with their energies, you know, they don't let in all the people easily, okay? Um, also, um, you know, like, uh, very passionate, very ambitious, okay? Somebody, again, I feel like somebody had been avoiding marriage. I don't know why I pick up this. But this person may end up marrying you somehow, okay? King of Cups and Three of Cups, okay. So the world, again, new cycle, death and rebirth, you know, healing, harmony, peace. For some of you, um, there could have been other people involved, okay? Um, both maybe in love or maybe just family interference, okay? Somebody has to choose between two people, it's what I'm feeling like. And forgiveness comes from this energy, okay? 
Also, again, maybe this person did not commit to you in the past and it was very repetitive energy and this fear, subconscious energy, you know, uh, had been very, uh, you know, programmed in your DNA, okay? And you are going, you would mirror this energy to each other for a long time until the lesson is learned, okay? But I feel like, yeah, there was this, you know, somebody wanted to keep their options open and I feel like it was like this mutual lesson, you know, like somebody did to you in the past, uh, you did to this person in the next lifetime and this person did the same to you in the another next lifetime, you did the same. You know, like there is this mutual forgiveness needed, like there is this very mirrored energy, okay? Lesson needed to be learned. But let me mention one thing. Uh, like the, again, there was like this love at first sight, in, instant connection, very in and out. Like um, it was really hard uh, for two of you to let go of each other. You know, like you you had uh, like this uh, unbreakable bond with this person. Okay, chemistry again, very very passionate, very uh, you know, like the chemistry was all over the in the air. You know, who is your soulmate, my group number two? attraction your soulmate is good looking i feel like both of you are and this person look at this in the bottom true love again for some of you it's like the you know cliche story uh making the playboy fall in love with you player fall in love with you and you know get married and all the stuff like it's very similar energy okay true love calling your soulmate this person wanted, wanted somebody like you this person had always this heart and soul and subconscious yearning for you, okay? Like, don't doubt this person's love, but, you know, earth, earth, earth can be different, you know? Like, stay optimistic about your love life. Again, very sad, you very, like, I don't know, like, like this dumb side of the fire elements, you know? Like, um, intelligent but stupid at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> if it makes sense express your love honeymoon again traveling could be involved here okay uh go ahead and uh, go ahead and make the romantic gestures so i feel like there is a scenario of again a player who had never been in love you know seeing you and suddenly fe feeling heartstroken and smitten by you and like why do I feel this way? I'm gonna run. I can't love you. I don't want to marry. Not this time. And all those very dramatic, you know, like very dramatic. But this chemistry and attraction is very all over the place. And I feel like this connection in bed would be really fire in this connection. Okay, past life relationship, exactly. You have, you keep repeating the same cycle again, 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 again. Like, I just don't know, like, who is running, who is the chaser, okay? So, but this person, regardless what the outside circumstances seem like, this person will always find you beautiful, attractive, and all this stuff, okay? You may be this person's one and only love, and this person may not love the other person just like they do love you, okay? Just because, some people just get into relationship without love just because they are fear of loneliness or just they are bored with their lives, you know. Yeah, I hope the reading resonated with you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. See you next time. Take care. And hey, group number three, welcome to your reading. So, your soulmate could be an author, okay? Or this person may be having deep knowledge. It's just an intelligent person, okay? This person may be well educated as well. And we are gonna see in a few minutes what this is about. Also, what I feel like in the past life, this person used to write you letters, okay? Maybe you used to communicate through letters. Maybe this person loved to write you love letters, even, you know, write poems and send to you, like open up their feelings through writing okay let's see who's your soulmate my group number three wisdom and the unicorn again very wise person super intelligent okay and unique person in their own ways native american i love this very spiritual person okay monk or nun 
Okay, for some of you, if this person is struggling with this chronic singlehood, just like I do, because I was a non intimate mountains in my past life, like, and what's so surprising was that, like, there, there are speculations going on that there are certain um, humanoids and humans from ancient lives who still live in the mountains but there is this uh, specific meditation mode when the um, you know monk or nun those people let's say uh, go into this deep meditation I don't know the exact name okay so I'm gonna describe it so you meditate, you master the art of meditation so much that you go on this deep trance mode where you your mortal flesh stays fresh regardless of the thousand years. You just become the donor for the human gen pool. Like in case if like some people are gonna be washed away from the earth so they will be awakened, okay, in order to still keep uh, the human uh, race alive, it, if it makes sense. So, my uh, past life mortal flesh was a nun. I, I had the vision of herself like in this orange, like she, she looked beautiful, but she was bald, okay? And what I, I have noticed that, like, uh, she opened her eyes, okay? Like she was in this deep trance mode. She was one of those people who get got in the trance in, I don't know, like whatever hundred years she was old, okay? So, and once she opened herself and knew that my different, her different essence actually reincarnated in another human form, she transferred this essence to my body as well to complete, okay? If it makes sense. So, and this person could be very celibate, like, loner person, kind of, okay? Again, I feel like there could be sense of, like, forbidden love in the way that maybe somebody was too devoted to and promised to, you know, certain religion to be celibate and devote their lives to the, you know, certain religion, maybe, like, Christians or, you know, uh, monks, you know, in Himalayas or something, okay? Like, this person was celibate and this person has, uh, you know, like, there is this sense of programmed uh, subconscious uh, mindset in their DNA, if it makes sense. Like, it's, uh, this person is having hard times with being into... Maybe this person has never gotten into this long-term relationships ever because they don't know how to be in long-term relationship, okay? And very unique person, okay? This person could be having Sag in their charts, okay? For some of you, this person could have been even a shaman in Native American society. Okay, so... Who is your soulmate? Trust and faith, again. Like, this person was devoted uh, to the creator. It, like, what, whoever they... Um, Consider as the creator, okay, to the source. Greek Roman and medicine man or woman, exactly like Native American was like it feels like you two were Native Americans in your past lives. Maybe if you do have like love, even though you have you know you were born in this lifetime in different culture in different society, you may still love Native Americans, okay. Uh, it's because you felt you feel this uh, you know belonging family here regardless like it was part of your journey and you feel this love you know and again for some of you like this person maybe both of you like there was this sense of shamans healers very spiritually inclined people okay like in all the lifetimes i feel like there was this sense of devotion to the divine being the divine channeler and being the healer okay so for some of you, like, also, you could have lived in this Greco-Roman uh, time period as well, okay? You know, you are a male. Oh, also, some of you switched bodies, okay? Like, there was this energy of, like, a female spirit was born in male body. Like, there was this switching energies, okay? Um... I don't usually bring up this energy of twin souls, but there there could be a possibility of t twin souls here, okay? Like a divine counterpart, and there was this... I feel like your journey has always been challenging, okay? 
Asia. Again, Himalayas, you see what did I say for some of you. Like, this person could have been, like, it might be my pile, okay? Like, I was there in Himalayas, I was a nun. And she was, she looked very young, you know, like. Okay, so who is your soulmate, my group number three? Like, again, like if you are a um, female watching this, you may have really masculine energy and you're uh, like, if you know your, uh, you know, counterpart, let's say in this lifetime, this person, even though they are born in a male body, this person has heavy feminine side to themselves, you know, like there is this energy and you need to balance it, okay? Ships, distance, traveling, the arts, again, somebody is very artistically inclined. Okay, this person could have been an artist, maybe both of you are. Somebody could be a musician, okay? Who is your soulmate, my group number three? Eight of Cups. The Hanged Man, Spiritual Awakening. You could have caused this person the Spiritual Awakening, okay? Queen of Cups, uh, Water Element, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Again, highly intuitive, highly empathetic, okay? And withdrawn. Ten of Swords. Uh, eight of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Again, I feel like your love connection with this person has always been challenging, okay? Something always uh, was the fork in the road for two of you, okay? Um, love was not easy. Somebody could have been very devoted to the purpose, to the creator, to the divine, also this sabotaging energy, okay? Also spiritual awakening and all this stuff, okay? Like somebody could have chosen their career, again, purpose and all this stuff, their devotion to um, their life goals, let's say, over love, okay? And the, another person was hurt about this, okay? The Hermit Virgo, King of Pentacles, Taurus Virgo, Capricorn. This could be very much this, again, polar opposite energy, like Yin and Yang was the earth and water element. You know, this person could have been, your Venus signs could be in this natural seventh house energy, okay? Earth and water. Page of Pentacles. For some of you, your soulmate may be having a child for some of you, okay? Or this person could be even child-free for some of you, okay? Somebody may want to have a family and the other person is non-committal. They are devoted to their purpose, okay? And it's a life lesson to be learned. Let's see, who's your soulmate? Who's your soulmate? Six of Cups, past life connection, and you are meant to come into union, you know, uh, come across. The Empress, some of you are meant to be the parent of their child, okay? And this person could be, the challenge could be that this person doesn't want to have children, okay? For some of you. Or the energy could be vice versa. But with the Ten of Cups, like, in one of your lifetimes, you could have been married, okay? And it was love marriage, of course, okay? And healing harmony. Maybe this person had been non-committal because they were yearning for you, okay? They couldn't find their mate and who was you, okay? But there is the, this heavy, challenging shadow side of this connection as well, my group number three. It's not an easy connection, it's very challenging and it needs something to be worked on, okay? It needs patience, it needs endurance, like resilience and all this stuff because in the end there, there is this possibility of happily ever after and the child, again, child, child, children, family, positivity, okay? Like you could be a Leo, okay? Or this person could be a Leo, okay? Taurus, Libra. Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and uh, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio, okay? So, yes, for some of you, this person may be ha going through hard times, mentally challenging times, okay? This person has fears, fears and obligations burdening them. Somebody is too devoted to the purpose, okay? And it was like the like never-ending story going on again and again and again and again because it's just a promise somebody needs to you know um 
uh, burn the soul promises, you know, like uh, transmute into the non-existent for form of the zero point, okay, like in the universe, transmute the energy because somebody, this past life contract ne needs to be broken, okay. Your devotion has been, you know, coming with you throughout the lifetimes and did not let you, uh, like, build a family or happy, like, have a chance to experience this family and children situation in the past because all of you had always been celibate, okay? Like, celibate, single, like, too, like, non-committal, not like a non-committal, but lonely, you know, like child free and all this stuff because you were always devoted like my life purpose in this lifetime i i um let me ground my thoughts my life purpose in this lifetime is to have children okay and i i have always been i was a high priestess in you know native america again a nun in the himalayas okay a uh, high priestess in egypt and all the stuff okay like i have always repeated the same cycle and ag again and again okay so it's my life last time on this uh, planet okay i asked my higher self and she said yes and i know it okay so it's one and i have heard from different people who are always talking about like I don't want to have children because children create karma but I want to ascend and never come to this planet uh, it's actually a limited belief system believe or not because um, you may ascend if you fulfill the mission okay <laughs> like it's not about like uh, ascending without children and all this stuff i like since the beginning of everything i have all like not have always but mostly like 99 percent of the time i had always been a single person and i died single without children okay and like i'm about to turn 30 in this lifetime i have never been in long-term relationship i always never gotten into a longer state of one month flirting because people never clicked with me you know like I, um, I have always been I don't like the saying different like it's very pick me energy like I we just did not share the similar values okay and part of me always wanted to be single I, I didn't want relationship like it was my safe space to be single okay like it could be very exhausting for your soulmate to be in relationship long term you know like again look at this four of wands it's again for some of you it's your divine counterpart okay the, you need to release the devil devil is the karma okay like this shadow elements needs to transmute into the light because there is this potential okay and the higher font taurus energy magician both of you are master manifestors spiritually inclined magicians you know somebody needs to fight for the love okay and overcome all those you know fight your inner demons fight the fears okay let's see finally who is your soulmate my group number three who is your soulmate who is your soulmate and breaking through from the stagnant cycle okay unrequited love finance and career you see uh, i feel like in the past life you took it as unrequited love just because somebody was too devoted to the purpose okay but love is mutual you you are this i feel like you are counterparts okay pay attention to the red flags codependence you see that devil energy needs to be transmuted like it has been too long somebody like repeating the same cycle in different you know bodies it needs to be ended okay love yourself first you could have taught each other how to love yourself and again in the bottom half here nine of cups very single energy okay i'm happy being single i can't be in relationship energy okay just because somebody is too devoted to the purpose passion love yourself first i requited love codependence exactly like the energy was mirrored to you or maybe the other person was like this unrequited love maybe you're like let's say you chose your purpose you sacrificed your love life over this you know like purpose right you devoted yourself to your purpose or you know creator of religion belief system or whatever you know and this person took it as unrequited love maybe again you walked away from this person in order to pursue what um you feel called to okay 
but actually it wasn't calling okay it was a repetitive cycle you needed to break free from the you know this uh contract okay some of you are meant like it's all in your hands we know the solution right we know the solution you need uh if you want the solution i do have it on my community page about how to break free you know like it's like pastel purple energy okay like those affirmations maybe record your voice break free you know like if you want uh, this freedom to start everything from new and uh, not repeat all those past energies again and again but start something from the you know fresh paper okay clean paper you need to do it okay like there is this passion but look how many you know uh, low vibrational energies are here it's the temptation okay like um, this contract needs to be released all right getting to know each other true love look at this actually like uh, there is a woman who I ad adore. She's not my master, but I do watch her channel. Like, um, so she always talks about like, uh, like she taught a lot to me. Like she gave me so much enlightenment about life and human connections. Uh, this universe was created from love. Okay, like, and all humans subconsciously love one another all of like almost 8 billion one of us regardless what lo, what the life challenges may look like and how some people outside world may hurt us we may think that we hate them but actually there is no chance of anybody any single human being on this planet earth living that hate the other people okay like it's the mirror of your inner world okay we all love we are all made from love you know your true essence is love okay mm. and transform this energy with love okay my group number three okay so i hope the reading resonated with you i hope you enjoyed your reading see you next time take care